What we've got tonight, we're doing an unboxing video. Ooh. So we got a little we got a little gift pack here from our fine friends at Master of Malt. Mom. And, Mom. Mom. And that boutique whiskey company. So what they're doing here is they got the drinks by the dram. Mm -hmm. So what they've started is they have a dram good club. So what they're going to do is I guess a subscription, like uh, Flaviar and a couple other ones that give you like or dessert of the month, yeah, beer of the month, whatever it is, any of the other month wine of the sure. month club. Sure. So you got a dram club, and what you get, you've got three tiers. I did a little handy dandy spreadsheet here because right, I got into my little Excel this morning. Um, so you've got three tiers. You've got the standard whiskey, the premium whiskey, and the old and rare whiskey. The prices go from, let's round up, $40 a month, $66 a month, or $132 a month. So you basically triple the price, more than triple the price, to yeah. go from whiskey to the old and rare. And yes. the whiskey you're getting is standard 8 to 12 year old probably whiskeys. Well, and, yeah. And when you get That's to right. the old and rare, you're probably all over 20. I guess. I'm guessing, you know, probably something like that. Now, to hook you in, what they also have is a bit of a, a little bit of an incentive to stay along with this. So, at the three month mark, if you go three months in a row, you get a gift. At the six month mark, you get a gift. And then at the 12 month mark, you get a gift. So, each time you get it, you, you typically get five each month. Yes. So, on those intervals, three, six, and 12, you're going to get a sixth. Exactly. Okay. Correct. Sure. With the standard whiskey club, you get a $10 dram at the three month. You get a $20 one at the premium whiskey club, and you get a $34 one at the old and rare. When you go to the sixth month, it, it jumps to 20, 34, and 78. And then when you get to the 12 month range, if you're at the standard whiskey, you get a 30 year old Glen Farkless, which is worth $41, or you get a 40 year old Glen Farkless if you're in the premium club which is worth $67, and if you're in the old and rare, you get a 33-year-old Port Ellen, which is $143 per ounce. For an ounce. For an ounce. For an ounce. For an ounce. That's a pricey bottle. That is a pricey bottle. But that's the incentive. So if you, That's a nice incentive. So if you coughed up, you know, $131 a month for the for 12 months, you get a little gift at the end. So you throw out, you know, $1,300. Yeah. Fourteen, fifteen, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. You get hundred and fifty bucks back. That's eh, not bad. It's not so bad. It's not bad. So on the surface, I'd say if you like variety and you don't want to commit to a full bottle, because when we get to the second portion when we do a little bit of a cost analysis as to what this stuff costs, you'll see that yeah, you know, you're paying a premium for these little drams. But the nice thing is you're not committing to a full bottle. So anyway, let's let's open this up. And to to Fully appreciate what we've done. I've bought the advent calendar. You can open it. Yeah. I've bought the advent calendar a couple of times from the, from the fine folks at Master Malt, and that gives you 24 days, 24 doors uh -huh. of these 30 centiliter Oops, bottles. Sorry about that. That's good to go. And I've gone and I bought the sherry drinks by the gram once okay. just to try a bunch of sherry. And huh. uh, I, I, I like the way they present it, I like the way it comes out. So you get five little drams and little doors. You also get tasting notes. Right, can you see that? You get tasting notes. Yeah, it's a tasting notes. So inside there are one, two, three, where are they? Four. There should be five of these. So you got a five in it? Oh, yep, there, there are. Fingers? There are five. Five sets of notes. Five cards, five whiskeys. So and what's nice about the cards is they're keepsakey. Yeah. So you can actually put those aside and put your notes on the back of the card. Yeah. Oh, so you've got this before. And, and then you can go and keep them in a file arrangement. So you know to go back the next time if you want a full bottle. Yeah. Or if they're offering an opportunity to pick and choose, you know not to pick something you didn't like or something you already had. Hmm. So you can try something different. Interesting. So, so it's nice. So again, on the surface, I'd say, you know, let's take these out real quick just to see what we got. So you yeah. yeah. just take this off. Oh, all right. Well, thanks. It comes out a little fast. You are just... It's not my Jeez. first day. This ain't your first rodeo. This ain't your first drinks by the dram, I take it. Not at all. No. Oh, so you got I'm that. a fan. You got that. You got your little tasting notes in the back. So it's a, it's a nice little gift. I'd say it's a nice gift. I, again, this this was gifted to us by them. They said they were starting to send these out. And they asked if we'd be interested. And I said, hell yeah. So, and, and not only do they run out actual whiskey from distillers, but they have their own group, the Boutique Whiskey Company, right. which runs out 
their own mm -hmm. samples of casks they've purchased. They do one for rum, they do one for gin. So if whiskey wasn't your cup of tea, they have other things you can try as well. Right. So they can, they can put out their boutique gin, boutique rum, and boutique whiskey. So they, they do a variety of, of beverages, mm -hmm. so it's not just whiskey. And then they do uh, you know all Isla, all Sherry, all bourbon cast, mm -hmm. so that you can pick and choose kind of how you want to nice. put it together. Nice. Besides going and buying their of the month month. The of the month, you're going to get their selections mm -hmm. of whatever they roll out. And right. And here, the five that we have are... So... I did another little handy dandy spreadsheet, which I'll include in the video, you know. I was trying to figure out the value of this, because I couldn't find the exact set as I was running through all mm -hmm. their sets. So I figured, let me just, you know, mix and match. So there was an Isla number two, 25 year old batch one, at 48.7% ABV. A Ben Rennes 17, batch five, at 47.6%. An Irish single malt number one, 14 year old, batch four, at 47.6%. Three ships from South Africa, a six-year-old, batch one at 53.7%. It's got a five in it. A I Glen, to be happy. Yeah. And and you will too, and so will I. Mm -hmm. uh, a Glen Moray, or is it Glen Murray, 12-year-old, batch four, at 48.5%. Now, when I looked at, I looked up the uh, cost. The bottles, these are all Boutique Whiskey Company, and they bottle 500 milliliter bottles. So the price on those, the Isla was 160, 170, I'll round up just to make it simple. The Ben Rennes was $75 for a 500 milliliter bottle. The Irish single malt was 65, the three ships was $85, and the Glen Murray was $60. So if you buy these a la carte, it's for about $49. And I don't know if that includes shipping. I don't think it includes shipping. Okay, I'm not sure about the shipping, but the base cost will be $49. If you go with the, the uh, Whiskey of the Month Club over here, You'll save about you'll save about ten bucks. About ten bucks yeah. doing it that way. So I mean, you know, I, I mean, I guess it depends. If if you happen, if you don't get the pick and choose, I think when you buy the five, right. you know, so you get a little bit of a discount, but you don't get choice. Mm -hmm. So you save money, but you don't you, you don't have the choice, or you go all the cart, you spend ten extra bucks. So I guess it just depends on what you want to do. And I think you know, in order to go a la carte, you need to have a little more knowledge. So right. you need to know what to ask for. Right. Where you do it this way, they give you five blind samples, and then you can ex experience what they've presented and roll out your decision and say, mm. you know, I like these, I don't like these, and right. move on. Now, to be honest, I'm not one who likes surprises. I like to know what's coming. But this is the kind of surprise I can get behind. And for 40 bucks, I mean, you go to a bar. If you were going to get this, you know, $10 whiskey in a bar, well, $10 if you buy the full bottle, $18 sample in the bottle, that's going to be a $40 dram. Easy. I think so. At least. I think so. At a minimum. You know, now granted, it doesn't have like a brand name, so you don't know if it's, if it's like a Lafroy 25, or is it a, a, a Beaumore 45, mm -hmm. and if it had that, it'd be $60, $70. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. I think, what did we look? The Johnny Walker Blue was what? Like $40 yeah, a $40 sample? Yeah, $40 a sample. It's like 40 bucks for Johnny Walker Blue. Yeah. Now granted, it's a fine whiskey, and we reviewed it recently, and it was, we, we enjoyed it immensely, but 40 bucks? Uh, I don't know. So really, this is not a bad deal if this is what you want to do. Yeah, I think it gives you, and it, like I said, it gives you an opportunity to try things that you yeah. otherwise might not get. For example, the three ships is in this, mm -hmm. and I don't know where you're going to find three ships. And I happen to have the advent calendar. I got it from my father, and, and uh, I tried some of the samples with him. And from that, I actually bought a bottle of three ships from Master of Malt because I'd had it. Okay. I enjoyed it, and I went and I got a bottle from him. So, I mean, you know, I, I, think it's a, I think it's a pretty good value. If you're looking to expand your horizons, I'll learn a little bit more about whiskey without dropping a fortune. Because if you were going to go out and buy all these bottles, if you wanted to buy five bottles of whiskey, which is really the only option in the States. Yeah. Because no one, I think nope. there's maybe a couple people doing this, but not many. They don't do enough. No, they don't do, there's not a lot of folks doing this. So, I mean, if you're going to go and buy all this stuff and sample it, you're looking at spending like 500 bucks. Well, and if you went out and you bought an $80 bottle of whiskey. Yeah. You might not be upset if you really didn't enjoy it. Right. You might find some other people who would. Mm -hmm. You give it to them when they come over. When you go into a higher, you know, the hundred dollar threshold, that's an investment. Yeah. And if you can do something like this for ten, twelve bucks, right. or through a of the month uh -huh. for what works out to be, right. you know, eight bucks a bottle, uh -huh. you get to try it and see if you like it. The investment's really not there. Right. You do, you know, one whiskey a night over mm -hmm. the course of a couple of weeks. So, I mean, you just got to put things into perspective. Like, it seems like a lot, but I think it's a decent value. 
Well, and you want to make sure that they're actually providing valued whiskeys as right. well. I mean, and, if and they from my me... experience with Messermont, that's what they brought to the table. Yeah. Oh, I agree. And I you think know, that's how they're building their business. I, too. I'm working my way through the uh, the Irish uh, uh-huh. whiskey advent calendar right how now. How are you enjoying that? And it's very nice, very good. Yeah. And it's my, my, the, my better half is very partial to Irish whiskey. So this year for the advent calendar uh-huh. that she bought for me, right. it happened to be Irish whiskey. And we've tried some Irish whiskey that I haven't found or seen. Okay. And, and now maybe I'd go back and, and order a bottle. Huh. What we're saying is I think it, it's, it's all relative. It's a question of what you want. I personally think it's a pretty good value. Hmm. I'd go for this. I think I would definitely go for this. Especially if I didn't know what I wanted, I want to try something new. Yeah. So anyway, I'm thinking let's let's just take one, pick one. Which one do you want? It's, it's your call. Dealer's choice. Let's do the Irish. Well, take one. Well, no, take one, and I'll take one, and we'll just. All right, we'll each do one. Okay, take you taking the Irish. Okay. Why don't we each pour off a little of this and pour off one? All right, let's just do that. We'll just do one because I don't. We don't want to keep going forever. We'll just do one, just to see what the quality is. So, color-wise, it's a little. A little cheers, pale. sir. A little, a little pale. pale. It's golden. It's a golden color. Oh, it smells good. There's a lot going on there. It smells delightful. I mean, I couldn't tell you who it is. Maybe you'll know. Uh, you have a lot more. Experience. I would like to say I would know, but that's no. just a lot. Like a coolie, or is it? It like... comes in at uh, 47.6%, and it's a 14 year old, and it's batch number four from that boutique whiskey company. I mean, you don't really get a lot of like Irish whiskeys this old, generally speaking. Like you get the standard issue Jameson, what is it, six years, five yeah, years? Yeah. If that. Yeah. And then, you know, if you, you see something that's eight, ten, you know, it's a big deal. This smells really good. This smells good. Really a lot nice. of sugars. Oh, it's a nice. lot of sugars. It's really nice. Then you get a little bit of like the grassy notes that you typically get off mm-hmm. an Irish. I'm getting like vanilla. Yeah, yeah, a lot of vanilla. Vanilla, maybe a little bit of fruit. I'm trying to think what kind of fruit though. Like a golden raisin? Maybe. maybe. I'm getting bananas. But mm-hmm. I might be bananas. <laughs> you are bananas. B a n a n a s, bananas. <laughs> These uh, bananas. One more time. B a n a n a s. I'd like to say we'll clean this up in editing, but no, nah, hell no. This is as good as it gets. Oh hell no. This is it. Really nice nose. I enjoy this. You know what? It's the, actually the fruit's a lot darker. It's yeah. a lot richer. And uh, for an Irish, it's packing some heat. Yeah, it is. It's, to me. it's nice. It is. It's actually, I think, a lot fruitier and a lot richer on the palate than it was on and, the nose. And on the nose, I, I found there was a lot of sweetness. And you get more, maybe like fruit as opposed to sugars, mm-hmm. that it isn't overly sweet. It's very nice. No, it's good. It's good. I'm, I'm not going to rate it. I'm not going to score it. But the point is, you know, they're giving you some nice whiskey. And, and like I said, if you were to go and buy this bottle, it's an investment. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Mm-hmm. You try it through the sample. Now you know you like it. Right. Now you go out and you buy a bottle. Even if you just buy it on your own. Yeah. You know, without doing this. It's eight bucks. I mean, yeah. what do you, go to a bar right now in Philly, and what are you going to get for eight bucks? You're going to get some rail bourbon for eight bucks. Yeah. You want to step up to something nice, you're going to have to drop thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars yeah. And if you want to get a scotch, forget it. You're, you're in the 20s. Yeah. Easy. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty good value. So, anyway. Um, so, I'm in. I'm, all, I'm on board. I'm on board. Should all this stop and everything comes to a screeching halt and I need access to some funky drams, I'm going here. I'm doing it. And I'm already there. It's good. Oh, we're there. It's good. I just, so, I like it. Thank you to the fine folks at Master of Malt and uh, the Boutique Whiskey Company for sending these along. Cheers. Cheers. Slash.